this video shows how you can create new drop down list in Google Sheet and uh, so we'll see how you can give the list of values from which you can uh, select from the drop down also uh, we'll see how to remove the drop down once you don't need it so let us say this is the column model and uh, you want to add drop down for this particular column so in this particular column I should have values from this list only either the model should be Audi, Honda, Suzuki or Toyota for that what you have to do is uh, just select this column and then click on data and then uh, click on data validation over there sale range you have to give so I want to start from the second row so I'm gonna select here two and uh, because this is the header first row is header now uh, here in the criteria you can uh, give the list from a range so this is my range so I can give the range over there like that and uh, then show drop down list in a sale by default this is unchecked so you can check this checkbox so that a drop down will be displayed and the user can uh, select values from the drop down on invalid data show ordering or reject input so there are two ways in which you can handle that invalid data and uh, in the appearance show validation help text if you want to show the validation help text you can also click on this checkbox and then uh, you can click on save then what will happen is that from a T2 that is second row uh, onwards there will be a drop down and you can select the value that will come from this for sale so Audi, Honda, Suzuki, Toyota user can't enter anything over there like that and uh, if it enters it will give this invalid uh, error or if you want to reject that you can select other option that we have just seen now uh, let us say you want to remove this validation then what you can do is select uh, sale in that particular column and then click on data and validation and over there it will uh, you can select the column in, uh, over there then click on data and validation and then here you can click on remove validation like that so I'm just gonna undo that once again so that is how you can uh, insert these uh, drop downs in, in Google spreadsheet now another thing that I want to do show you is that instead of giving the uh, this uh, range of values uh, from the sales you can directly hard code the values in this uh, formula itself for example if you go to this data validation thing over there in this particular thing there are a lot of other items like uh, you can give list of items number text date custom formula checkbox as well so if you select list of items what happens is that you can give the options over there like values that you want to show in the drop down over there in uh, separated by comma so let us say you want to see uh, show value like this abc in xyz abn like that then click on save then what happens is that if you select here you can see that abc xyz abn is displayed so that's how you can uh, s like s uh, create the drop down and add, add different different types of values over there and other options over there that we have seen are you can also give the numbers from the specific range then you can also give the criteria that where the text contains specific word or doesn't contain equals is valid email is valid url so there are a lot of conditions you can set over there and that is how you can uh, add these uh, drop downs or list in google sheet now if you want to remove that what you have to do is just uh, select that column and then go to data data validation again then click on remove validation that is how you can add remove the uh, data drop downs in google sheet thanks for watching this video